crab people, blue heavy metal people. Green people, crab people, blue heavy metal people. Green people, crab people, blue heavy metal people. Hey there guys, this is me, Malorian, and this will be a War Machine Battle Report. And now we are on to Game 5 of the King of the North Tournament. This is the final game. I am currently 2-2, two and two, and I really want to win this game because I want to leave this tournament going 3-2. and two. Like, 3-2, and two, that's okay. If I leave this tournament going 2-3, and three, I just won't be happy with myself. Now, it turns out I'm up, up against my buddy Mark here in his Legion, and he definitely also wants to win this game. You know, I think he's had like kind of a rough weekend. I had a rough start to my weekend, so we're both looking to finish with a high note, and uh, unfortunately we're both now up against each other trying to do the same thing. Now, the matchup we got here was the Abbey 2, which is against Texas, which, like I've said before, is one that I definitely like. However, I've got to say that out of all the Abbey 2 lists, this is the one I fear the most. Now, first of all, those Blight Wasps. He has two units of them, and they can rip me up. They get in there, and on their feet, they're strong, they have high mat, they have two inches of reach, and they just kill a guy, move an inch, kill a guy, and I'm basically desperately hoping to get Tufts just to slow him down. And if I have a bad day for Tufts, he just destroys a whole unit or more, and uh, that's the way it is. He also has Typhon, which can do a bunch of sprays. He has Proteus, which I know is a big problem. The Scythian, which can ignore Tuff. So this is not an easy one whatsoever. So this is going to be tough. Uh, one thing I should explain too, looking at this here, is that that big piece of terrain in front of me is a forest. Just the trees are pulled out. So that's not actually a bad thing. Uh, now that Legion do not ignore the, the trees for line of sight, I can actually be a little bit in there and be a little bit safe. Uh, it is kill box though, so I'll have to get a little bit further up there. But this will be interesting. I kind of feel that I'd like to do this one by scenario. But I don't know if I can. I think it's really going to be one where I have to go for attrition, wait out, wait for his feet, and then try and come back. And uh, I can't make any mistakes. If I make any mistakes against Mark, uh, I'm probably going to die. Alright, and also he uh, won the initiative and he did the right thing and went first. And really he's just going up the board. So he has a spell up onto Proteus where he has the plus two armor and can't be moved and all that fun stuff. And the other guys are base to base, so he's doing what he can to make it so, say, Texas, your feet uh, don't do nothing. So, you know, that's all right. Uh, at this point here, I want to try and wait out to see if he makes a mistake. Um, sometimes I would just run up there and see what happens. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to actually just kind of space out. I want him to try and come to me. And uh, again, if he makes any mistakes, hopefully I can kill off some of those butterflies before he gets on to me. So that's really what I do. I space myself out here in a circle, so if he wants to come at me, he's going to have to... I think I'm outside of even the feet range. So even if he pops his feet with those little butterflies, he can't get to me. Otherwise, deceleration. Uh, since all of his big beasties are on the right, that's where I put my guys. And we'll see if we have a big old battle there. So on his turn, he kind of continues on with the standoff however one thing he does give me is he puts up his spell martyrs there i don't know why he did uh the one on the right is clearly one that i can kill though on the left he probably thinks is safe but one of my guys do sprays i have some overlords over there and they ignore line of sight so i can just go over there target the butterflies or something or you just target the guy in the woods and i can kill him off so i would like to you know wait for a bigger mistake but i don't think i'm going to get one I think now is a point where I just need to go in. Uh, he did not make any crazy mistakes, and we'll see how that goes. So that's what I do. I'm able to charge in, kill the one guy on the left, go over on the, sorry, on the left, spray down the guy on the right, charge that one. So no spell martyrs or anything like that. Otherwise, I'm just really trying to work on my spacing to make it as hard as possible for him to get too deep. Again, because he has so many options on the right between Proteus and the Scythian and the Sprays and God, everything, you know, he can unlock that. Uh, but again, I'm just hoping that when he's done unlocking, I can come in there and kill whatever I can. Otherwise, I am now making sure I'm safe from Killbox. Deceleration is up to help me with those sprays, and we'll see how deadly it is. 
And you can see here, he kills off a lot of guys. Again, it's all about these crazy, crazy bees. Now, the Blight Wasps on the right, they just go crazy and they kill like a whole unit. Uh, the one on the left, I thought I was safe because he screws up with the first three and, well, that doesn't screw up. Either he has bad dice or I have good dice and I tough. And then like the last one kills six by himself. So that's just the way it is. Uh, he does not have all of his heavies on the right side. So everything is really focusing over here. Um, that one blue base there is a proxy for Typhon. And the Scythian really goes out there and goes to the right. So now I'm trying to decide what I want to do here, uh, whether I want to kind of like commit one of my wreckers to killing the Scythian, but I'm pretty sure if I do that, he just kills me. So I think what I need to do is now is going to be time to feed. I'm going to get rid of these wasps and then get in his face. I'm pretty sure I can start scoring on the left side. I can start doing some damage to his heavies. And uh, I think I can wait this out a little bit longer instead of trying to go in now. So that's what I do, I pop that feed, I move the guys together on the left, some sprays, I uh, kill all those guys there, otherwise I get on the flag to score one control point. On the right, I'm needing to, you know, kill off those bees just by kind of going after them, uh, but I do hold back. As you can see there, I'm mainly going after the, the Scythian just to kind of put things around it, try and get some attacks in. Got some damage in, but nothing super crazy. Uh, meanwhile, I got three adrenal flooded guys into Typhon, and uh, thank goodness for him, he had that Animus up to regenerate. Otherwise, I might have killed him right here. He is really hurt. Otherwise, my Wreckers are kind of holding back. And uh, we got the standoff on the right while I'm scoring on the left. So on his turn, he decides he has to stop this from going on. You know, he has to use Proteus to clear up Typhon. Then Typhon can come over and do a whole bunch of sprays. Uh, I should also mention that this is the turn that the Forsaken come up. And they explode and they kill a bunch of guys. So really, if you look at this, it looks kind of bad because I've lost a lot of guys. But now on this turn, this is where I know I can be killing off Typhon, I can be killing off the Proteus, and at that point, I'm, I'm golden. So on my turn, I am able to go and Adrenal Flood some guys on the left, I'm able to kill off that Forsaken, I'm able to run one guy over to Abby just to be annoying, but more importantly, I kill Typhon. Otherwise, I do stick out my neck a little bit there with Texas. He's able to cast the Rampager to bring Proteus closer. And then once I go up there and I instigate, yeah, my Wreckers get in there. And I'm able to kill both the Proteus and the Seraph. Really devastating. Killing th you know three heavies right there. Uh, the Scythian, he might be able to come over and kill a guy, but then I can trade my other heavy for that heavy, and I am looking fantastic. I also got my Overlords on the flag, so now it's currently 2 nothing in scenario, and uh, feeling good. And so on his turn, he realizes that it is really bad. He's just going to try and do whatever he can. Uh, he's also running kind of low on clock while he's been trying to... You know, those Blight Wasps, they do really good, but they also really drain your clock. And so really what happens here is that the Scythian comes over and tries to go after me. And um, yeah, his dice are garbage. Keep in mind that I am like defense 10 and he missed a bunch of attacks. It was ridiculous. That's needing to roll a four to hit. And I mean, when he does hit, I do take some damage, but I got 36 boxes, so I survive. Otherwise, Abby is gonna go on the left, try and kill off some guys. Nothing really too major. And I mean, at this point, I would be scoring another control point, but he also clocked. So with that, I pick up the win, and this was, to me, a great way to finish the tournament. I'm sure Mark was a little bit disappointed. We talked about the game after, about how it probably really comes down a lot to the Blight Wasps. You know, if he can kill a lot more there, I can't really come back, uh, because a big part of this game is for me to trade up killing the heavies with my adrenal flooded slavers and so if you can get into those and kill them it really takes that punch away but either way i'm able to get this one i did end up with death clock but i probably would have got on scenario or you know attrition eventually anyway here but yeah i'm feeling great this means okay good at least that i end the tournament three and two I do have uh, two more games that I played. I'm going to have battle reports for those, uh, plus my final thoughts for the event. So that's coming up. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any comments, please put them down below. Bye. 
Hey there, if you liked watching this video, please go down and give it a like down uh, below you here. And if you have any concerns or questions or comments, please put those in the comment section as well. You know, the best way for me to give you what you want to see is if you tell me what you like seeing and what you don't like seeing. So otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.